Hello. Uh, today uh, we're going to work on an artwork uh, that is based on the work by Hans Arp, his, 1970, his 1917 piece of artwork called Arrangement According to Chance. This one is really a lot of fun and it's very hard uh, to create art uh, totally uh, based on chance because even when uh, something is based on chance uh, you still have some control in it. You have some control in the colors that you choose. Are you going to choose the primary colors? The primary colors of course you know are red, blue, and yellow or are you going to use the secondary colors which are orange, green, and violet? And this is not really violet, but it's the color that was closest to violet in my pad of paper. So I'm just using this kind of pink. But uh, when you look at this, just pretend that it's violet because those are the secondary colors. Now color is one of the elements of art and it's really, really important. So if you look at Arp's work here, you can see that it's blue, it's gray, and it's white, kind of an off-white. So the only real true color that he has here that's a primary is a blue. Everything else is either a tint or a shade or has been mixed to a different color. Now we're going to try to create our artwork according to chance. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some kind of a backing sheet. You can either use uh, one of the sheets from your your multimedia pack, a white sheet, or you can use some of the black from your uh, construction pack. So the second thing is that when you make your uh, artwork according to chance, you're going to need some glue or some glue stick. You're going to either need to tear your pieces or you're going to have to uh, cut them. So you can do them either way. But what you want in your artwork is you want no subject matter. You want no recognizable images. You simply want to create something that happens by total accident. Now, when I made the video talking about the artwork, I talked about how some of the Dadists, how they would even use uh, images from newspapers. And you can do this that as well. Now, when you look at this artwork, it looks to me like it's pretty controlled, but it still is in that Dadist tradition. So I can't say how much control you're actually going to exhibit over this, but what I want you to do is to remember this philosophy that the Dadist had that everything in life is random. You may or may not agree with that. So here is how you could do your artwork although and you could make your artwork although you might end up doing something a little more controlled. I just don't know. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to cut out some shapes according to what feels good in my brain and I'm not saying that these are right or wrong, good or bad, but again, they can't be any recognizable images. And then I'm just going to drop them down and air pressure is going to take them wherever air pressure wants to take them. Now, there's something in my brain that really likes these organic shapes. Now this is a geometric shape, but and something that is like a blob is more of an organic shape. And I like organic shapes. But I also know that to create good art, you want both unity and you want some variety. And by that I mean you want some things that are the same and you want some things that are different. So I am just going to go ahead and see what happens here with my organic shapes. But I'm always thinking about the rules of design when I do anything. But I guess you might say that that's a little bit of control. And I also kind of am controlling where my hand goes when I am uh, dropping the paper on the backing sheet. But we're just going to live with whatever happens. And again, I'm making these organic blobs because that's what my brain really likes to do. And so I'm just about completed with my dotest work. Now, how much, how much paper should you drop on your sheet? That is totally up to you. You can have it really filled up 
or you can have it kind of kind of sparse like uh, Hans Arp did. But so let me show you the samples again from uh, the other classes. Now this is my artwork. I think I would like to have a border on here, but and since this is a dry medium, a border simply is you know is quite uh, that would be okay. But here is the one that looks like there's a lot of pieces dropped on this and this one looks like it was torn which is all right to, to do and this one looks like it was cut so um, just have fun with this one don't try to control it um, I'm just looking that to me I'm just going to put a few more smaller pieces on here and because I just think I want a few more and I know that the rule is that uh, good art good art actually fills up the space so it just feels like to me that it should have a few more things on it but if that's um, too much control I, I err on the side of too much control so if you have any questions you can contact me by email um, um, you can um, you can um, uh, also uh, post something to the discussion board. So after you have all of these pieces cut out, don't forget to glue them down. So thank you for your attention. And I am actually quite pleased with my artwork here according to chance. Thank you and we'll see you next time.